Did you know that many darts players have an alcohol problem? Although it's not illegal to consume alcohol on stage, for darts players, it can be dangerous because many have already died from drinking. Today, we take you through the times when darts players who were way too drunk on stage. While darts may have moved away from its old image of being a booze-fueled sport, it seems that some players still haven't got the memo. In fact, according to darts legend Dennis Priestley, most of the top 64 players in the world still drink to varying degrees, with some even downing whole bottles of whiskey before a match. Priestley, who won two world championships in the 1990s, revealed that he was part of the drinking culture during his playing days, but he never went to excess like some of his peers. He recalled one particular match against John Ferrell, who was well on his way to being really drunk in the practice room before the game. Despite this, Ferrell managed to beat Priestley, leaving the former champ stunned. I couldn't believe how well he played and he even beat me, Priestley said. It was off-putting, as he'd get a 26 or a 3, and then he'd get a 180. It was very unusual. He would drink excessively before games. Ferrell is not the only player to have played while under the influence. Priestley hinted that many of the sport's top players, including some in the top eight, have been known to down bottles of spirits before a match. While drinking before a match might seem like a recipe for disaster, Priestley admitted that it wasn't always the case. In fact, he revealed that he himself had a few drinks before winning his first world championship in 1991. Although it was nothing compared to what some of his opponents were drinking, they would have a bottle of vodka or Jack Daniels though, he said. Of course, there are risks associated with playing darts while drunk. Not only can it affect a player's accuracy and concentration, but it can also be dangerous. Despite this, it seems that the drinking culture in darts is alive and well, with many players continuing to imbibe before matches. One such example came in the form of Australian player Simon Whitlock, who was caught drinking beer during a match against world champion Rob Cross in the 2018 World Grand Prix. While the incident may have seemed like a light-hearted moment of fun, it sparked control obviously within the darts community, with some players arguing that it was disrespectful to the sport and the fans. Another memorable incident involving alcohol came during a match between Peter Wright and Gerwin Price in the 2018 Grand Slam of Darts. Price, who had been struggling with illness in the lead up to the match, was seen drinking a can of Red Bull during a break in play. However, eagle-eyed viewers quickly realised that the can had been cleverly disguised and was actually filled with vodka. The incident caused a stir within the darts community, with Price receiving a formal warning from the Darts Regulation Authority for breaching the sport's code of conduct. While Price initially denied any wrongdoing, he later apologised for his actions and pledged to never let it happen again. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. For Andy the Viking Fordham, Drinking was a part of his pre-game ritual. In fact, he would drink so heavily that he would have failed a breath test three days later. The former world champion was once known as the super tanker of the Oki, fueled by a hip flask of spirit and at least 24 bottles of lager before he took the stage. It was a habit that had become so ingrained in his routine that he felt he needed it to perform at his best. But it all came crashing down for the Viking when he collapsed backstage at the lakeside 16 years ago. He survived a severe bout of pleurisy, a stroke, and was even shortlisted for a liver transplant. It was a wake-up call that forced him to make some major change in his life. Since that incident, Fordham was sworn off alcohol, opting for only alcohol-free beer. In an interview with Mirror Sport, he spoke candidly about the warning signs he ignored and the toll his drinking had taken on his health. Looking back, Fordham admits he's not proud of his drinking habits, but he's also not dwelling on the past. He's focused on the future and the unfinished business he has with the sport. The first time he played at the lakeside, he was drunk, but he still managed to win. It's a dangerous message to send, and it's one that Fordham now regrets. Fordham revealed how drinking it almost killed him and that he was fortunate to be alive. His liver had gone through the first stage of kairosis, and he had even suffered from pleurisy and a stroke. His story also highlights the fact that drinking can be a slippery slope, as after the first time he drank before a match, he felt he needed to drink before every match. Despite his struggles, Fordham was grateful to be alive and cherished his world title. He had not touched alcohol since the day he collapsed at the lakeside in 2007. At the time of the interview, he drank only alcohol-free beer, and was proud of himself for being able to play darts without the need for alcohol. His goal was to qualify for the world championship again, and he hoped to be able to show his grandchildren that he still had what it takes to be a great darts player. Sadly, 
On 15th of July 2021, it was announced that Fordham had died in hospital at the age of 51 from organ failure after a long battle with health problems. He was diagnosed with chirosis, with reportedly more than 70% of his liver destroyed. One of the most legendary players of the Bristow era, Jockey Wilson, was also known for his heavy drinking before matches. While smoking and drinking during matches may have been common in the early years of televised darts, it's hard to imagine a top player today getting away with being visibly intoxicated on stage. Wilson often consumed several pints of lager and a magic coke concoction made with vodka before matches. Despite his excessive consumption, Wilson managed to win the world championship twice in 1982 and 1989. But his drinking also led to some embarrassing moments on stage. During one game, he famously fell off the stage at the end of the match. And according to commentator Sid Waddle, Wilson once engaged in gamesmanship so violent that it shocked even his opponent, the legendary player Eric Bristow. Wilson's drinking may have helped create a certain atmosphere around televised darts in its early years, but it's clear that such behavior wouldn't be tolerated in the sport today. And while Wilson's achievements on the board can't be denied, it's hard not to wonder how many more titles he might have won if he had taken a more measured approach to his drinking. Martin Wolfie Adams, a three-time BDO winner and one of the nicest guys in the sport, revealed in an exclusive interview with the Daily Star Online that the pub is where it all starts. While he doesn't count how many beers he drinks, he acknowledged that alcohol is still a part of the darts culture, even as the game has changed tremendously since he first started. However, many of the biggest names in darts have moved away from drinking completely. Gary Anderson, who got his start in darts through the pub like many others, has had his own struggles with alcohol, but he has since turned his life around and now focuses on training and preparation rather than drinking. Anderson even used to run a pub himself, the Wellington Arms in Somerset, which was frequented by fellow PDC player Steve Grubb and other notable players like nine times ladies winner Trina Gulliver and BDO champion Mark Webster. Popular Dutchman Raymond van Barneveld, also known as Barney, also struggled with alcohol during his career. In the past, he openly admitted to drinking heavily, but after experiencing health issues, he decided to make a change. Today, he's 28 kilograms lighter than he was in 2007 and says he feels like a different person. He now has to be careful about what he eats and drinks, but it's clear that his focus is on his health and his game. Despite his past struggles, Barney remains one of the most respected and beloved players in the sport. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.